Okay, our problem involves centripetal force or possibly centripetal acceleration. Now, to get centripetal force, we take centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r, and this is something that was in the document you were to have completed for today. So centripetal force is v squared over r, meaning that the I say force, centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. To get a force, you multiply mass by acceleration. So the centripetal force on a mass m moving at velocity v on a circle of radius r is mass times the centripetal acceleration, which is m times v squared over r. Centripetal force and net force are identical for an object moving on a circle. It wouldn't be moving on a circle if the net force was not equal to the centripetal force. Now, if we know the mass and the radius of the, the, um, of, of the circle, then what can we determine? And this is the situation we have. We know the mass. We know the radius. Well, we know the radius. We know the radius. We know the mass. We know the mass. Okay, we can't do anything with this. We can't determine the centripetal acceleration just yet. But we can say, well, we know the centripetal force, and that's equal to mass times velocity squared over r, and we know m and r, so we can easily solve for v. So we can easily get the velocity. And knowing the centripetal force, of course, if we want the centripetal acceleration, we can simply set the centripetal force equals mass times centripetal acceleration and solve for the centripetal acceleration. So there's all that information. But we have to know the basic thing. Centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. And from this, it follows that the centripetal force is mass times centripetal acceleration, which is then mass times v squared over r. Um, OK, so if we want to solve for v, we got centripetal acceleration was mv squared over r. We know centripetal acceleration. We know m. We know r. We want to solve for v. Multiply both sides by r. We get f centripetal times r. Divide by m. We got centripetal force times r divided by m. And that would give us v squared. We take the square root plus or minus the square root of both sides. And we get our velocity. OK. And that solves the problem.